Well, hello, my revivers. Welcome back to Cooking with CPR. Today, we're going to be making a quick and easy, tasty, tasty buttermilk pie. Guys, this is all you need is what you see on this counter. I just made one yesterday and it is actually gone and I'm using the second crust. I was going to be making a sweet potato pie, but guys, my big Quiznart mixer that I have, it doesn't allow me to mix things that are like really small. And I had sweet potatoes that I baked and I'm gonna have to wait because I had to actually order a stand, not a stand mixer, a hand mixer. So that will be here today. So I'll probably make the sweet potato pie tomorrow, but I do have buttermilk that is getting ready to go bad. So I'm going to be making a buttermilk pie and my family loves this, okay? So let's get started. First thing you need to do is preheat your oven. And we want to preheat it at 325. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, in this bowl here, we're going to beat our eggs. And y'all know I take my cores out of my eggs. And here's the awesome thing, guys. You do not need a hand mixer for this. You can actually do this with a whisk. So we're going to whisk these up really good until they get like frothy. Be careful. I'm trying to make the video be too long, so I'm trying to get it in. So once you get them to this consistency here, you're gonna add your butter. I'm gonna put the recipe below, and this is just one stick of butter. It doesn't matter. I always use salted butter for mainly all my recipes. So then we're gonna mix the butter and the eggs. Once we get that mixed, we're gonna move on to the sugar. And this is one and one quarter cup of regular granulated sugar. I'm gonna mix this really good. Forgot to tell y'all everything that was here. But you guys will see it as I put it in. I'm sorry. I wanna get this in the oven because I got something to go do. So I'm gonna mix that real well. And this is not sped up. <laughs> so we're gonna mix that real well. And then the next thing is going to be the flour. Okay. Once we mix the flour and everything together. Then you could kind of just add everything else as you choose. And just mix, mix, mix. See how nice and creamy this is. And you can just do it with your, and you can look this up. This is a old, 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 old recipe. And I think I shared this with you guys. I was eating some before like a couple years ago. And I got a request and I never made it for you guys so once you get that in then the next step is a cup of buttermilk do not use the buttermilk that you make it's best to use the one that you buy it's not the same taste I promise you all right so then we're gonna get that incorporated like so and mix 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 really well let's see how nice and creamy this looks guys it reminds me of a sweet potato pie without the sweet potatoes kind of sorta. Yeah. And now in this we have two teaspoons of vanilla and a little over an eighth of a teaspoon of almond extract. So I'm using imitation vanilla and I'm using the real almond extract. I haven't been able to find imitation almond, but it's not as expensive as vanilla, so it's not so bad. And then I have an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then I have two teaspoons of concentrated lemon juice. And guys, that is how you do it. And so what I'm getting ready to do is mix this a little bit more for you. Put this stuff in the sink. And then we have our deep dish. You want a deep dish pie crust, deep dish pie crust from Audi's. And we're gonna just put our mixture inside this crust and I want to get my favorite utensil hold on one moment yeah I like to get this back because we want to get all that goodness out of that bowl and so we go and pour it in like so look how nice and creamy that looks guys oh my gosh I gotta try it you have to try it 
And you know, with any recipe, you make it your own, add, subtract. Once you taste it for the first time, add or subtract what you think you may or may not like. Um, it's up to you. Um, this is an old recipe, but I love the almond taste. So that's why I put almond in mine. And so I'm sharing it the way I make it. And if you are an almond guy or girl like myself, you may love it as well. So let's get this bad boy in the oven. Now, I like to place it on top of something like this so that way, um, if it just in case it usually doesn't, but just in case it doesn't spill inside of the actual oven. All right, we are at the 325 mark and let's put her in. Did y'all see that? Get it all the way to the stove and then it wants to spill. All right guys, the pie is done. Let's take her out. All right guys, make sure you be careful so you won't have this, but now you have to let this sit for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, it's best to let it cool before you eat it. It tastes so much better. Some people put it in the refrigerator, but I don't. So what I'll do is set a timer and I'll let it sit for an hour and 30 minutes. And then I know it's time to munch on it. So this is what it looks like. And I'll show you how I serve it and I'm gonna cut into it. Stay tuned. So I was organizing the cabinets and my daughter came home. She wanted some pie so bad. So this is what the inside of it looks like. Like that. She's about to eat a piece and put whipped cream on it. That's the way she likes it, just like her mama. Look how it looks, y'all. So good. <laughs> so good, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, Mom, can I cut it? Can I cut it? When she first came on. So, yeah. She about to devour it. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. That's my buttermilk pie. Later, Gators.